Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Monique situation. So as you guys all know, I had posted this on Instagram the other day that Monique was on the news out there, I believe in LA or something like that, and basically taken up for Roseanne Barr. Now, if you guys remember months ago, I've been caught Monique out. And when I tell you I got drugged by so many people, people threatened me behind Monique. I was all types of coons, bed winches. I lost a lot of subscribers because I stood my guns and I saw through Monique's bullshit and I wasn't gonna let the internet shame me or put me in a corner or make me not see my truth as I see it. Like I said, I don't come on here to have nobody agree with me, to have nobody kiss my ass. This is my channel and I state my opinion how I feel it. And I was never feeling Monique and her hobo damn Netflix tour. And I was one of the few people who kept calling her out and kept saying that she was full of shit, okay? t Grow Diamonds told y'all months ago, one of the reasons I was not feeling Monique is that she's so quick to throw other black people under the bus, okay? She tried to fuck up Dave Chappelle's Netflix deal, Chris Rock's Netflix deal, but then in the same breath, you steadily sitting up here calling Amy Schumer your sister. I called her out on this months ago. Folks said I was bugging, you're being mean, you're trying to tear down another sister. Meanwhile, this so-called sister has no problem trying to tear down other black people, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this damn flashback because y'all know I let her pat myself on the back, bitch, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this flashback of me calling out Monique for not calling out her so-called sister, Amy Schumer. Go ahead and check this out. Maybe there's something wrong with my motherfucking ears. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm bugging. Let me go ahead and listen to her shit and see if maybe maybe her stuff is funny. Maybe I just didn't give Amy Schumer a chance. Do y'all know when you go to YouTube and you type in Amy Schumer, before you can even finish typing in her last name, it comes up, comes up Amy Schumer steals jokes, Amy Schumer steals joke compilations, Amy Schumer steals joke compilations, Amy Schumer steals joke from Ellen. Amy Schumer steals jokes from Patrice O'Neill. I mean, it is insane how many jokes this woman has stolen, but I don't see Monique going in on her and saying she don't deserve that money because half the jokes that she's regurgitating, she done took that from somebody else. You know, it's, it's like she's tiptoeing around the whole Amy Schumer situation, but has no problem being loud and, and bold against other black people. Now, another thing that's bothered me with this whole situation is the thing that's bothered me with this whole situation is how people online are sitting here trying to shame other black people. You know, a lot of these pro-black, you know, I'm woke folks are the main ones going around social media calling other people coons, bed wenches, going off on folks for not canceling their Netflix. Um, you know, I had somebody even come at me and I'm not going to say he was disrespectful, but he was like, I'm giving you the side eye. You know, I thought you was better than this. I can't believe you're not cutting off your Netflix. And like I told him, I don't give a damn. You're not going to shame me and neither is Monique. You can look at me cross-eyed. I'm not cutting off my Netflix for nobody. I'm a grown woman. I pay my own bills and Monique don't dictate shit in my house and neither do you, okay? So if you want to call me a coon and all that stupid shit, but behind Monique, that's fine. But what I find funny is that y'all same people who are so quick to talk shit about Netflix, nine times out of 10 don't even have Netflix. So let's keep that real. But a lot of y'all who are talking mess don't realize how much Netflix and Amazon have given indie filmmakers and black filmmakers, black directors, a chance to showcase their work and have paid them well, okay? Honey. All right, so you guys just heard me calling out Monique a few months ago about how basically she walks on eggshells when it comes to these white folks, but when it comes to her brothers and sisters, she has no problem telling them to suck their dick if she had one, okay? So now we got Monique on the news, basically taking up for Roseanne Barr and calling Roseanne Barr her sister in comedy and saying, you know, people talk about Christianity and being a good Christian. We need to learn to forgive Roseanne, you know, because she said sorry. Oh, okay, Monique. Anyways, y'all go ahead and check out this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So when I see my sister, who said something out of order, out of line. Mm -hmm. She did. Mm -hmm. We cannot dress it up. Right. 
But when I see my sister saying, I made a mistake. So all I would say is to Roseanne, baby, if you are in California right now, you have tickets to the show at the Brea Improv. Okay. Because what I won't do. Bring me some. When someone says they're sorry, and we keep teaching all of this Christianity and all of this forgiveness, but uh -oh. when we write in it, when we write in it, uh -oh. we seem to forget about that. And we seem to walk away from it. So for Roseanne Barr from Monique, I want to say to my sister, I love you. I know you made a mistake. I know you messed up, mm -hmm. but I still won't throw you away. I won't put you on the racist list and say, oh, never again. That is my sister. And I think these are the moments that really count. Because I remember somebody asked me, Sam, for, with the situation that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. And my, they were asking my husband about it. And they said... Really, Monique, we keep teaching all this Christianity and all this forgiveness, but when we're right in it, we're not willing to do that? I mean, what about when Tyler Perry was on the phone with you apologizing? You know what I'm saying? And trying to work something out and trying to work something out between you, Lee Daniels, and Oprah when it really had nothing to do with Tyler. Not only did you not forgive that man, you then, during the whole Damon Dash and Lee Scamiel situation, ran to blast Tyler Perry's private phone conversation with you and your husband. So where was all this Christian love and forgiveness for Tyler Perry? What about your sister, Oprah Winfrey? You know what I'm saying? You're telling my people need to forgive and let things go and all this stuff, but you've held on to this whole Oprah Winfrey grudge and Lee Daniels grudge for years now. And I'm not saying that they didn't do her wrong, but what I'm saying is why are you so quick to defend Roseanne? You're telling my Roseanne apologize. What part of her screaming, I thought she was white, is a sincere apology? No, Roseanne apologized once she realized all of her benefits were being taken from her, like her TV show, her previous Roseanne show, and she was being written out of Hollywood altogether. Once they snatched everything from Roseanne within 48 damn hours, that's when she kicked up the apology, okay? And even now, when they did a follow-up with Roseanne to see where she's at mentally, she started screaming, saying that she thought Valerie Jarrett was white. There was nothing sincere about that. Go ahead and check out this video really quick. I thought the bitch was white! Damn it! This is her comeback? Seriously? Roseanne Barr launches an ear-piercing tirade as she attempts to explain the racist tweet that got her fired. The disgraced comedian looks out of it. She takes a drag on a cigarette and yells at a producer off camera. Are you filming? Yeah. Then Roseanne completely flips out. I'm trying to talk about Iran. I'm trying to talk about Valerie Jarrett wrote the Iran deal. I know, but you've told me this 300 times. Do you know that a... That's what my tweet was about. I know, you've explained this literally 300 times. I thought the bitch was white! Damn it! I thought the bitch was white! All right, so you guys just saw that video of Roseanne screaming again, okay? So my thing is this, this is why I said from day one when everybody else was scared to say it, I was one of the few people who stood up and said, I'm not canceling a motherfucking thing for Monique, okay? Monique is one person and I did several breakdowns as to why I was not canceling my Netflix and why I was not joining Monique in her damn hobo Netflix tour, okay? I broke that down. I'm not gonna reiterate all of that in this video. If you guys wanna watch my breakdown videos, I will post the links down below. You guys can go visit my old Monique videos where I stood my guns and I'm glad I stood my guns. Monique is full of shit, okay? And Monique, at this point in time, she sees that a lot of black folks are waking up and they're seeing through her bullshit. They're not really supporting her now, okay? So now she's trying to jump on the white train. Now she's trying to call Roseanne her sister. And now that people are confronting her online, look at her rebuttal to everything everybody confronting her online about what she said, you know, to defend Roseanne. She's still standing by this bullshit. Go ahead and check out these tweets and these back and forth with her fans on social media.
All right, so you guys just saw those tweets in the back and forth. Now, one tweet that I find really funny is when Monique said this. Monique says, baby, do you recall when she came on the Monique show? A lot wouldn't because it was BET. It was too black. Imagine folks that look like you but wouldn't come on because it's black. She never questioned it. She just said when and where for my girl. I can't throw her away. Now, I get that, okay? But my thing is, it's funny that you can pull up something like when you had your BET show and this white woman, Roseanne, came to the show, right? But why, when you were going through all this turmoil, when you were going through all this with Netflix, why didn't this same sister in comedy come out and speak on your behalf? How come she didn't remember coming onto that show and having your back and forming this friendship? You claim you guys had all these closed door conversations, which I'm sure they did. I'm very sure that they probably had those conversations. But again, why is this so called sister of yours in comedy not rushing to your defense when you were getting drug up and down the media? You had white people that have never even talked to you before who had your back more than this so-called sister of yours. But the thing, like I said, that I find the funniest is she's so quick to defend Roseanne and her racist antics, okay? Because that's what it was. That was a racist rant, regardless of what she thought Valerie Jarrett was. She said a lot of racist, problematic shit before in the past. This wasn't the first time, okay? So it's funny that she can forgive that and she can say, you know, people need to let that go. But when it comes to people who look, okay, just like you, these are your words, Monique, Tyler Perry looks like you, Lee Daniels looks like you, Oprah Winfrey looks like you, there's no forgiveness there. But when it comes to somebody like Roseanne who looks nothing like you, it's all kumbaya. And that's what I noticed about Monique and that's what rubbed me the wrong way because you're so quick to blast all these black comedians and demand what you should get and you should be on their level and that's fine if you feel that way. But then when it came to whack ass, boring ass, unfunny ass Amy Schumer, she was scared to speak that real. Your main frustration was towards Amy, but you knew you couldn't go at that white girl because then you'd be corn a racist and then white folks would come for you. So then in turn, you turned it around and put it on Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock and said that you should be on their level. But you never drug Amy Schumer the same way you drug all these other black folks. You never talked down to Amy Schumer the same way you talked down to other people. Okay. Sister Amy Schumer supposed to get what she gets. Okay. If that's what her people negotiated, that's what she's supposed to get. By no means am I saying, no, I'm against Amy Schumer. No, no, mm -hmm. no, no, no. If that's you know, so I find that whole situation funny. Amy Schumer's unfunny. She steals jokes. She should not have been paid what she was paid by Netflix, but they chose to pay her. And Monique should have caught that out if she was a real one, but she was too scared to do that. And when I seen that she was too scared to do that, I was like, I'm cool. I'm not about to sit here and defend her fuck when she's afraid to speak out and speak the real. It's always easier for us to attack other black people than to attack other white folks. And see, like I told y'all before, y'all can get mad at me. I'm going to always speak my truth because I don't deify none of these people. A lot of y'all look at these celebrities like they're guys because they've been on television. They've been in the movies. Y'all want to kiss celebrity ass. Y'all want to deify them. Y'all want to make them above regular people. That's fine. You can do that. That's not how I get down, okay? I will always speak my truth as I see it, point blank, period. And I'm not saying that my truth is 100% right but it's just my truth it's how I see that and I'm not going to stop speaking my truth I'm going to keep it real I don't care if it's on YouTube if it's on Instagram like I tell people if my truth is too real for you if you're mad because I don't kiss people's asses if you feel like I'm mean it's called unsubscribe and unfollow I'm not changing the way I talk I'm not changing the tea I spill I'm not changing my realness to appease a certain demographic you know what I'm saying because even in the Bible it says that the truth divides people the truth has never brought people together the truth divides divides it causes chaos it causes dissension you know what I mean and I understand why a lot of y'all got in y'all's feelings because y'all didn't want to see the truth about Monique but I've been peeped that shit and now you guys are seeing it and thank you to the people who apologize for you know cussing me out and sending me threats and everything else a lot of people did end up apologizing to me once this Monique interview came out but I've been peeped her bullshit and that's why I'm not supporting her I'm not supporting none of her future endeavors because I see that she's so quick to throw her own people under the bus 24 7 but then when it comes to white folks she walks on eggshells and one thing about me i don't discriminate if you want some fuck shit i don't care if you white black asian latino i will drag your ass point blank period okay there is no well, i'm gonna tiptoe when it comes to white folks over here but then i'm gonna go hard on black folks no if you're doing some fuck shit i'm gonna call it out point blank period
So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning, hey, my loves, Miss Monique, sitting here trying to shame folks into supporting Roseanne Barr and her damn racist rant. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.